everyone. I thought I would bring you along on a full get ready with me right from start to finish using some of my favorite products for fall. So if that sounds like something that interests you, then let's jump into it. So when I say that we're starting right at the beginning of my morning process, we're going to start right in the bathroom when I've come out of the shower. So I'm not sure how the lighting and everything is going to work in the audio, but I don't normally film in my bathroom, <laughs> so you'll have to excuse that part of it. So the first thing that I do is I try and do my, uh, apply some of my skincare ingredients first, and then I go in and start doing my hair so my skincare ingredients have time to sit. So the first thing I go in with is the Merit The Great Skin Serum. I am almost out of this. This is such a wonderful, wonderful product. You always have to make sure to shake it first before you apply it. What I usually do is I squirt it into the palm of my hand, but sometimes it has a tendency to kind of squirt all over the place. So that, I guess that's the only negative I would say about it, but the actual uh, product is fantastic. So then I take that and I apply it all over my face. I find this has really helped my skin. I find it really does hydrate and like plump my skin up. And then today I'm gonna to go in with the Aveeno Calm Moisture Moisturizer. So I've been using this one a little bit more lately just because I find with the seasons changing, my skin has become a little bit drier. So this is more of like a thicker formula, more of a cream based formula. I'm gonna take just like a big old goop of it. But Aveeno has some wonderful products this doesn't ever feel like greasy or anything like that. And then we're going in with eye cream. And I just had this in one of my other videos, so it's no surprise, it's my Elizabeth Arden Visible Difference Eye Cream. So I use about that much. And I can't believe the hydration this eye cream gives my under eye area. And sometimes I run it right up into my 11s and around my eyebrows, and then I just pat it in gently. And then we can't forget about sunscreen. So the sunscreen I'm using today, is this is the Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen. I have this one in the SPF 30 and it's a sensitive formula. Sunscreen, you know, is so important guys. And even though it looks like it's applying white, this does not leave a white cast, but this one also has no issues with like my makeup application at all. It looks beautiful under this on the skin and see, there's no white cast. And now we're gonna get into the fun part. Uh, recently, I had a company called Zuvi reach out and they sent me this cool device. This is probably the coolest device I've used. And it is the Zuvi Halo Hair Dryer. So that's just the packaging, but look at how cool this looks. So I'll show you what it looks like when it's actually working. And I just wanna say thank you to Zuvi for partnering with me on this portion of the video. What is so innovative about this product is it uses light technology instead of heat to dry your hair. So that's going to be less damaging to your hair, which I really appreciate because as I'm getting older, my hair is definitely becoming way drier. And especially because I do highlight my hair, there is that damage from the, the dye process. And then also other tools that I use, like I use a flat iron or a curling iron. Sometimes those are really, really hot. So those damage my hair as well but I've been using this product for the last few weeks. That was the other nice thing about uh, Zuvi is they sent me the product, but they didn't rush me into uh, creating a video for them. They said, we want you to use it. We want you to gather your thoughts on it and see if it makes a difference on your hair. So I really appreciate that. I'm not a big fan of companies that kind of push a product on you and then just, you know, oh, create this video kind of, and they don't really care what, you know, what the product does. That was a really nice thing. A few things that I've noticed with using this hair dryer is my hair is smoother, it's shinier, and it doesn't feel as dry and damaged. So we'll get into using the product. I usually try and use a pick first to get any sort of tangles out of my hair. And I'm just gonna go in with some mousse. I use, uh, this one I'm using today is the Joico uh, Joy Whip Mousse, but really any, any mousse will do. Uh, what I've also found about this product is I don't have to use as much of my regular styling like products in my hair. So even my mousse, I don't use as much that I used to. So a little, like even just that much, usually I would use like a whole big swath of it. <laughs> this we're just gonna throw in. And because of the light technology, I find I have less breakage, 
Uh, my hair isn't as frizzy. I don't have the flyaways that I usually do. Now this does have uh, three different attachments. I have four different modes on the back and you use the different modes with the different styling attachments. So I usually have just been using it like this uh, without any attachments initially when I'm drying my hair. And then I go in with this attachment right here, which is a concentrator. Now, what I really like about it also is that these are magnetic. So it just pops on like that. This part, I usually use the last, I'm gonna say 80% of my drying time, but there's also this attachment here, which is for fast drying. Uh, and then the other attachment I don't usually use is this one here. It's a diffuser because I don't really have curly hair. But if you have curly hair, this would be great for that. So I'm going to first turn on the device and I'll show you how the wind, so it's light and wind that is basically drying your hair. So I'm going to switch to this attachment now, uh, but you can only use this in the style mode. So I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna uh, adjust it so it goes to style mode. And I will say one of the other great things about this, <laughs> if you are one of my mature gals out there, and you are either going through menopause or you know what it feels like to go through menopause. And when you're blow drying your hair, especially in an enclosed space like this, and <laughs> I don't know about you, but I am absolutely most times frying, like absolutely frying. <laughs> I have to stop sometimes. I'm just sweating. So I just, I actually have to stop, open my bathroom door, kind of let the heat out and everything. But with this dryer, I don't have to do that because there's no, it's not emitting the heat. It's just light. So I, I find like, I am not sweating at all right now. Like I feel fine and that's been with my door closed and everything. So that, that part of it just <laughs> was such a fantastic feature. So this is, my hair is now dry. You can see hopefully how less frizz I have on my hair. I haven't done any styling on, on it at all yet. If I can find a picture, I'm pretty sure I have a picture somewhere of what my hair looks like before, uh, like using a regular hair dryer uh, before I style it it's pretty, usually pretty frizzy. So uh, if I can find that picture, I'll put it, I'll put a picture over here of it or I'll do like a side by side. But this is like now looking at my hair, I don't have to do much like regular styling with my flat iron or my curling iron. It looks like I really don't have to do much at all. So that always makes me really, really happy. Uh, one of the concerns that I did have when it said it wasn't using heat is I was thinking, okay, well, is this gonna extend the drying time? And it, it actually doesn't. I'm not gonna say that it decreases the time that it takes for me to dry my hair, but it definitely doesn't increase it as well. So that was one of my concerns because I'm thinking, okay, well this sometimes will take me like 10 minutes to dry my hair. And it has provided that a little bit. I think it's like a minute or two less time because uh, I, th I was thinking, oh my goodness, is am I gonna be standing for like 15 minutes drying my hair? But that's not the case at all. This has won numerous awards, including the Allure Best of Beauty Award. Also, if you're somebody that has difficulties like holding a, a product for a long time in your hand, this one is really lightweight, which I appreciate that as well, especially when I'm standing here for like, you know, 10 minutes or so and drying my hair. So I'm gonna include all of the information down below in my description box if you wanna check out the Zuvi uh, website. I should also have a discount code as well that I will uh, link down in the description box for you. Thank you once again to Zuvi for partnering with me on this portion of the video. I'm just gonna quickly flat iron my hair, and then I'm gonna show you how shiny my hair is after I do that. So I just wanted to quickly show you after I flat iron my hair, how shiny it is before I start using uh, like hairspray on it, cause then that'll kind of skew the look of it. But look at how shiny my hair is. Like it really is incredible and super soft. Like my hair has become super soft and I have way less breakage, like my split ends and stuff. I just don't have the split ends like I used to, but wow, it is. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of hairspray now. 
All right, let's jump into the makeup portion of the video. So we're first going to start with the eyes today because I uh, have a eyeshadow palette that I'm unfamiliar with and I'm not sure if there's going to be a bunch of fallout. And I also want to do a little, a little wing. So I'm going to use my tape hack, which is going to give me that guide I want for the wing. So it's going to be a fun video. I have the majority of these products are products I'm very familiar with and they are favorites of mine. There is a few, I'm going to say two or three products that are, I want to try out. They're kind of new. I want to prep my eyes first before I put any sort of eyeshadow on. So we're going to go in with the Milani, the eyeshadow primer. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow primers. I find that's usually enough for me uh, to do both eyelids. And this really does help the eyeshadow stay on longer. And I did quickly do my eyebrows uh, before I came on camera and I will have everything linked and listed down below for you guys. If you ever do use any of my links, I thank you so much for helping to support my channel. Uh, they are affiliate links and I do earn a little a small commission on those products when you do purchase them. Uh, and it's no extra charge to you at all, but thank you so much for helping to support my channel. So when I saw this eyeshadow palette, I said, this absolutely is a for sure fall type of palette. And it is a newer a newer palette to the drugstore. So it's the NYX Ultimate Warm Neutrals. Now it does come in a bunch of different uh, styles. You know, I'm, I'm a neutral girl. I love my warm neutrals. Look at those gorgeous shades. There's a mix of some mattes and some shimmers. So I'm first going to start with this shade right here. Now they only have they just have numbers on the back. So this is the shade number three, but they have like little paw prints on them, which I think is just the cutest, cutest little design. I'm going to go in with my rougher. This is the 16 brush and it's a beautiful fluffy eyeshadow brush. Look at that end. That is just gorgeous. This brush in particular is great for putting product on your eye right from the eyelid right to the brow bone. So I'm going to take about that much. But NYX eyeshadow palettes are usually pretty good. I've had a few of them in the past. And I just wanted putting just enough color to take away some of that discoloration I have, like some of the redness, some of the veins, which you can see it did, it did do that. It just took away the discoloration. We're going to go in with this shade right here. It's like a, a tan type of brown. It's number five in the palette. And I'm going to go in with my Ruffer 01 brush. This is a nice powder brush, really soft, luxurious type of eyeshadows. I always say brushes really make the difference in applying your makeup. And then I recently had uh, Sigma Beauty send me a few items in PR, which totally blew me away because they are such a huge brand. So they sent me a few brushes. I will also, there's another product that I want to show you that they sent me. So this is the Sigma E36 brush and it is a blending brush, like an eyeshadow blending brush. And we're going to go in with this very bottom shade here. It is shade 16 and it's almost like a chocolate brown. And I want to use that in my, just above my crease. Oh, that is so super soft. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow, what a soft brush. That is amazing. What I'm really finding is there isn't a lot of kickback in the pan. So that's really great for a drugstore um, eyeshadow palette. And then to give my eyes just a little bit more earthier tones, like some more fall vibes, I'm going to go in with this one right here. And it is like a dark auburn color. And I'm just going to apply that right on the very corner of my eye. So I just, I'm just going to put a little bit on the brush, tap it off good. And I'm just putting it right on the very, very corner. And before we continue on with the eyes, I just want to put some lip oil on while they can condition until I put the lipstick on. So this is new by Sigma. This is a Renew Lip Oil. So they sent this one to me in the shade Tranquil. So that's the wand. Very pretty. That feels really, really nice on the lips. I love lip oils. They're having such a moment right now, but I think it's a nice alternative to lipstick or lip balms because this one does have like a little bit of color to it. And then I'm just going to take my Angie Hot and Flashy. This is the A503 brush and I want to bl just uh, blend everything together. I just want to make sure that there's no harsh lines anywhere. Just everything's blended together. I'm trying to use a bunch of the shades in the palette. So I thought, why not kind of highlight my brow bone? This right here has a little bit of shimmer in it. And I'm just going to take my BK Beauty. This is the uh, 210 brush. It's like a little detailer type of brush. And I just want to highlight up here. So when I do use a liquid 
eyeliner, which is not very often, but the one that I do use is the Stila. This is the Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I have this one in black. One thing about liquid eyeliners is make sure that you shake it up. You can probably hear there's a little bit of a gizmo in there. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it helps, helps with the liquid in there. This one has a really precise tip. That's why I like it. And that's the shade there. I need to get a little bit close. My eyes aren't what they used to be, so <laughs> I need that closeness when I'm trying to do a wing. And what I usually do is I guide it along with the side of the eyeliner. I don't go straight through. I just start in the middle and I slowly go in little short strokes. I don't do one continuous line. And then when I'm creating the wing, I just ha use that uh, tape as my guide. And then I just kind of hope for the best. <laughs> okay, so we're going to remove that tape now and see how it all worked out. I do sometimes have to just adjust the wing a little bit with concealer. For the most part, I think that turned out good. So next I'm going to tight line using my favorite pencil, which is the L'Oreal Infallible. So I want to apply my primer now so it has time to settle before I apply the foundation. So this is a new product by Marcel, but I have been using it behind the scenes. It is the Skin Caring Glow Enhancer and Primer. So if you're not familiar with Marcel, Marcel is a Canadian brand and I have created videos about Marcel and I about like all the Canadian brand and I will put the picture of the female over here if you want to go check it out. If I know I have a bunch of Canadian viewers out there uh, that you appreciate the Marcel and Lee Swatche, those Canadian brands. But this is a very, very nice primer. It has uh, hyaluronic acid in it and also niacinamide. I'm just going to put like that much. The hyaluronic acid is going to plump your skin and the niacinamide is going to uh, smooth it out. Uh, you can use this alone if you want to or uh, like I'm going to be doing it, I'm using it under my foundation. But look at that glow. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness. I always forget how beautiful it is. Marcel, the brand, like the brand is hyperallergenic. So really good if you have sensitive skin. Another product that Sigma sent to me is a color corrector. The packaging is just beautiful. Look at that beautiful packaging. It's a little mirror. So that's the color corrector. So one side is like a peach and more of a neutralizer. But it says to combine the two together. This is the Sigma E28 brush. So you can use this for all sorts of things, uh, but one of them is using it for concealer and color corrector. Eyeshadow highlighter, so it's a very versatile brush. It has a little bit of a, like a dense head to it. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna dab a little bit in here. So it's like a cream product. So there's just about like that much on the brush. I find more and more I'm using color correctors to take away that darkness under my eyes. So I've just turned my ring light down so you can see the difference. So this is the side that I've color corrected and this is the side that's not. And that it blended in really nicely actually. Every time I look in the mirror I'm like <laughs> I am so glowy. <laughs> but uh, there's a reason why I used that primer and I want a little bit of glowiness. It's because the foundation that I'm using I have very dry skin. This gives me a little bit of a satiny finish. It's the Clinique Even Better Clinical Serum Foundation. I have this one in the shade Alabaster. Cute little pump. And I usually just to put, apply it right to the back of my hand. I'll do like one, I did like one and a half pumps. It's not overly runny. It does give a, I'm going to say more of like a medium edging on like a full coverage. And that's why I like to apply it with my sponge because I find it shears it out a little bit more. Okay, so I've turned my ring light down and I'll come a little bit closer and you can see the side. So this is the side that I just did and this is the side that is not done yet. See how it gives a, there's a little bit of mattness to it, but a little bit of a satiny sheen. So that's why I just, I absolutely love this foundation. It's beautiful. And then where would I be without my absolute favorite, favorite concealer? This is the Lancome uh, Tint Idel Ultra Wear Concealer. I have this in the shade 215 Buff. That's the shade there. But hands down, one of the best concealers. Uh, one of the nice things also about using color corrector is I don't need to apply as much concealer, which is always great because then that's less product under your eyes. So I'm just going to apply a little dot there. 
and a little bit here so I can fix that wing and then I do like to highlight so everything looks even so for the face I will use the sponge and then to blend in the under eyes I'm going to use the Angie Hot and Flashy 506 concealer brush this is that fantastic concealer brush with the little kitten paw <laughs> that's what she calls it and this is probably a good a time as any to let you know that I'm going to be changing up the types of videos that I'm going to be doing and by that I mean I mean it's I don't think it's a big surprise to anybody that you guys know that I love a drugstore but I also love some of the higher end products and I'm not I'm not necessarily luxury I'm not a big luxury type of product person uh, but I do like higher end like stuff from Sephora I think that there's just some products that they sell there that drugstore just can't match and I, just, I love 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 Sephora so I am going to be changing it up a little bit to include some more higher end products and that just helps me stay true to who I am because I love those types of products don't get me wrong I love drugstore I, I absolutely believe that there are so many drugstore brands and products that are just as good as high end some great dupes you know I just wanted to give you a heads up of that and leave me some comments leave me like a comment down below of how how you feel about that I know I have a bunch of viewers that uh, like both the like a drugstore and like Sephora type of products and see how that's I, I just kind of fixed that wing a little bit where the concealer does a great job with that you just apply the concealer where you want to correct it and it just made a little bit sharper but I really like the combination that color corrector is doing a nice job and then with my favorite concealer everything looks pretty covered up I just turned my ring light down again but you can see look at the great coverage that's really really nice I like that and then I do like to give my lashes a little bit of a curl the rougher eyelash curler is the best in my opinion I've tried tons of them and this is the only one that I think just grabs all those little hairs and actually curls them and then a eyeliner that I've been really really enjoying is I purchased this not too long ago it's the bare minerals minimalist eyeliner but it's the shade that I really really like and this is copper when I say that this stays oh my goodness you guys this is quite amazing so that's it right there I did a swatch uh, the first time I used it and I couldn't get it off like it <laughs> it stayed on there so that's when I know it's a really good one but I use this one right under my lower lash line but it doesn't tug on my eye at all it's very creamy and then this Merit mascara just amazing it, 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 I have no other words for it the formula is so nourishing on my eyelashes it's not an overly wet mascara but it's not like a kind of like a drier one it's just perfect and I like how it's a tubing formula so at the end of the night it removes so easily it doesn't clump it doesn't flake it's won a whole bunch of awards honestly one of the best mascaras out there so I just wanted to show you uh, this is the one side done okay so I just threw on the Ardell naked lashes these are such a fabulous fabulous lash they have just a, a nice wispiness to them but I really like the uh, band on it it has like a, an invisib band so it's not that stark black line that you usually get with eyelashes and I just yeah I love these lashes they just really open up the eyes I think if you notice I do have I'm trying out some different lighting and stuff like that so if every once in a while you see you'll see me kind of go like that I have a little light behind me I'm trying to see if it illuminates the background <laughs> so hopefully it's not too distracting for you guys uh, so for I'm just going to tight line today and I'm going to use the Marcel this is a coal eyeliner but it's specifically designed for the waterline and it's just in the shade like a eye brightening beige it says but it's very for a coal pencil it's very soft and it, like as soon as I put it into my waterline you can see how it's it's like putting the the shade in it is pretty decent for a uh, wear I'm not going to say it lasts all day but it lasts a good amount like I'm going to say a few hours I have yet to find a waterline pencil that'll last like a good you know six hours I don't know if there's one out there but I haven't found one when I use pencils in my waterline I don't do this every day kind of thing uh, I was watching Lisa J and she said she was kind of getting some giving some information about that about how it's not good to use it in your waterline every day so for a bronzer today we're going to go in with my tried and true this is my Milani 
This I have in this shade Suntan, but it is a silky matte. Hopefully the camera can pick it up, but that's the shade right, right there. And I'm going to go in with my Ruffer 22 brush. Such a fabulous brush. This is, I think, one of their best sellers, and it is a flagship brush. So you can see it's quite a big a brush head, but it is so soft and fluffy, and it deposits the bronzer or whatever you have going seamlessly on my face. It's super, super soft. Like I am barely applying any pressure to my cheek right now. And look at how nicely it's, it's put the product on my face. This one gets rave reviews if you go onto the website. I am gonna take a little bit of from that eyeshadow palette. I wanna apply a little bit to the inner corners of my eye. You'll find with me, I always like putting the emphasis on kind of the eye area, brighten those areas up and more wide awake. And then for blush today, we're gonna to go in with the Physician's Formula Butter Blush. I'm starting, I'm very sad. <laughs> I'm starting to hit, you can see right there, I'm starting to hit a little bit of pan. It's like, oh, I use this, I use this one a lot. I, I will say I do use it a lot. This is in the shade Mauve Mattes. You can have this in, in, use it in two ways. So this top half is more darker than this bottom half. So I usually like to have more of like a lighter blush on my cheek. So I, I tend to gravitate towards the bottom here. Whereas if you want a darker look, you can certainly add the top portion here. So I'm gonna apply a little bit more of this one here today because it is like more of a burgundy. And I think that looks very pretty for fall. So I'm taking the BK Beauty 112 brush. And this one is so precise, it's beautiful for applying blush, especially if you are somebody that has a, like a smaller face. This one just really gets into that area a little bit better. So I'm just gonna stipple it. And I love the smell of all the Physicians Formula products. Just kind of stipple it on right on my cheek area. And I tend not to go down farther than this because everything kind of starts sagging. <laughs> so I, I like to apply it higher up on the cheek. Now this highlighter gets an A+. This is a beautiful highlighter. It's the Makeup by Mario one. And I have this one in the shade A Pearl. I'm gonna use the Sigma. This is the uh, High Cheekbone Highlighter, the F03 brush. And this fits beautifully on the high point of my cheek. I've used this one on my channel lots as well. What I like about this one also is it's subtle. It's a subtle highlighter. It's just enough so that when you turn, turn your cheek, people can see, oh, that, that it just looks very uh, natural and not too overblown. Another wonderful Bare Minerals product is their lip liner. I am loving this shade. This is called Blissful Blush. So that's it right there. This is such a creamy formula. It really does stay on the lip. And then when I pair it with the lipstick that I show you, I love the combination. So leave me a comment down below of what, do you guys mix and match your lipsticks? Like there's sometimes I come up with some lip combinations between lip liners and lipsticks and I went, oh, that's, that actually looks really nice. And that's how I came up with this one. So leave me a comment down below if you guys do that. Or maybe that's like a fun video idea. I don't know. <laughs> I'm always coming up with like different combos. And then the lipstick I'm using today is the one by e.l.f. This is the one, the shade No Doubt. But that's the actual shade there and they pair so nicely uh, for a bullet lipstick this actually lasts uh, quite a long time I do have to reapply it after like if I if I've had something to drink or eat but that's pretty much with any bullet lipstick probably lasts a little bit longer than other ones I've tried in the past I will say my lips feel very nourished from this Sigma lip oil they feel very very nice and then to top off, you know, I love a gloss. So I'm gonna go in with the CoverGirl. This is the Clean Fresh Yummy Gloss. I have this one in the shade Havana Good Time. It smells so good. <laughs> and I want this to stay all day. So I'm gonna go in with the Physician's Formula Diamond Setter. It's a setting spray. You always give it a good shake. Oh, 
always blend it in after I put a setting spray on just to set everything in there. This one has more of a direct uh, spray mechanism. It's one of those ones that it, I find it doesn't like disperse it all over your face. It's more direct. That part of it isn't my favorite, but the actual formula I love. It gives me a little bit of uh, glowiness. So I hope you enjoyed this fun little fall get ready with me. I really do love some of the shades that came out with that eyeshadow palette. Hopefully it inspired you or gave you some fall vibes. Thank you so much to Sigma Beauty for sending me these wonderful PR products. I will have the website linked down below in my description box. Thank you so much to Zuvi for also partnering with me on this video. I will have all the information down in my description box and their website as well, as well as all of the products that I used today. If you haven't already, I would love for you to join my little family here on YouTube. Make sure to hit that notification bell that's right beside the subscribe button and that way you're notified whenever I upload new videos. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy this type of content. And as always, I hope everybody has a great week and a great life and I'll see you all very soon in my next video. Bye!